So here are matrix number one. We need to find the inverse using adjoint method. So this is the matrix number one, which is the K1, and this is the matrix P, which is the matrix given to be multiplied with the inverse of K1 in order to decrypt the secret code. We need to find the inverse using this formula, one over the determinant of A, and times with the adjoint of A, which is K1. So to find this determinant, determinant is actually the sum up of cofactors of the matrix A in a row. It means that we only need a row in order to get this determinant. So in this case, we're using the first row and we find all the cofactors of all the, all the numbers on the first row. So this is uh, the calculation that we have made in order to get the cofactors. So after we sum up all the cofactors, the determinant of the A is negative 11. So the second step is to find the cofactors of each number from number 1 to number 4. To find the cofactor, we will, we, we will be using this formula, negative 1, power with the position of the matrix, times with the number of the matrix, and times with the minor. To find the minor, we need to close the number, such as 1 has a position 1, 1 and then close row 1 and close column 1 and then we will get the minus this is number 1 and then these are the number on number 4 matrix so these are all the minus that we get and we just multiply it with the original number such as number 1 minor 1 has number 1 mat number one in the matrix and then we multiply we get the cofactors of 16 and then the last one is number 4 just multiply with the minus and then we get the numbers after we get all the cofactors of the number we just place it to make it a matrix again and then we transpose it how to transpose it the first row will be the first column such as 16 negative 105 38 and negative 4 will be the first column which is 16 negative 105 38 and negative 40 and so so will others the second row will be the second column, the third row will be the third column, and the fourth row will be the fourth column. We will obtain adjoint A. So the adjoint A will be multiplied with 1 over the determinant of negative 11 that we get uh, from the first step, and then we have obtain the inverse matrix. So this is the inverse matrix that we get. So after we have the inverse matrix, we multiply with the P matrix that given to us to decrypt the code. However, the first two numbers that we must just multiply don't get the exact number that synced with the given number to decode the message. So for the second test, we will find the inverse of K2 by using the argument method. So this is the given matrix. So for the first step, we will change the 3 to become 1. So to make it uh, this three to become one, we change the row of first row with second row. So the first row will move to second row and the second row will move to first row. So the new form will be like this. And then for the second step, uh, we will change this three to become zero. So the new R2, we will, give, uh, we will multiply negative three with R1 and then plus with R2. So the new R2 will be 0, negative 13, negative 8, negative, negative 1, 1, negative 3, 0, and 0. Next for the step, uh, we will change this 4 and 9 to become 0. So for the new uh, R3, we will multiply negative 4 with R1 and then plus with R3. For new R4, we will multiply negative 9 with R1 and then plus with R4. For the new R2, uh, we will divide R2 with negative 13. So the new R2 will be 0, 1, 8 per 13, 1 per 13, negative 1 over 13, 3 over 13, 0 and 0. So the other rows will remain the same. Next, uh, we will change this negative 21 and negative uh, 39 to become 0. For this matrix, uh, there is no inverse. So, there is no solution. For the third test, I may use either ERO method or adjoint method to find the inverse at K3 
I will be using adjoint method. This method is similar with the method to find inverse at k1. After we get this results, this result will be multiplied with the p matrix that we, that have been given by the brothers to find the message behind it. This is the result after we multiply the p and the k inverse. After we get this, we will be converted with the password we were given. So this is the result of this is the message behind all those matrix, which is mean asasi pertanian.